Hey team, my name's Cole. I'm a furniture refinisher based in Christchurch, New Zealand. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, you know the drill. Let's jump straight into it. It's a nice day to pull up a chair and check out the view. Hmm, maybe not. So let's get this chair fixed up and try that again. After doing a bit of digging around, I found out this chair was made by a guy named Bruce Watt. He was operating out of Auckland during the 1940s and 50s, and his most recognisable object is a plywood folding chair named the Stork Line, and this is one of those chairs. Some fellow Kiwis may recognise the name Bruce Watt. He actually had a range of early New Zealand toys called Tinky Toys. They were made from die-cast lead, and they're actually a collector's item these days and worth quite a bit of money. I'm not sure I can say the same about this chair, but I'm really keen to restore it as best I can, so let's see how we go. As you can see, it's had a bit of a rough life. I think it spent a few nights outside. A lot of the plywood split and lifted in places. A few small pieces are also missing. The hinges are very rattly. The paint job, well, there's not much left. I'm just going to take what I can apart and go from there. This chair is held together by half round rivets, not something that I've dealt with before in any piece that I've ever worked on. I'm not super sure how to deal with them, so I've drilled these out, I couldn't see any other way of sort of taking them off. The challenge I've now got is to try and find some new rivets that resemble the original ones. The paintwork was quite flaky so it was coming off quite easily. I just used a variety of scrapers to get away what I could and follow it up with a bit of sandpaper. The hinges holding this chair together were made of steel. They were currently covered in paint. 
what I wanted to do was strip that paint off and see how the steel was looking underneath. I wanted to give this chair a nice industrial look. I didn't want it to look brand new. So I was hoping that I'd be able to create more of a forged steel look with the hinges. So getting this paint off was a good place to start. These are starting to go in the direction I want, but I can tell there's still a bit of work to go yet. Even after sanding, I still wasn't really happy with them, so I'm going to put them aside for now and come back to them a little bit later. I start with a 120 grit on the timber and work my way through to about a 400. Not being super fussy, I do want a little bit of character left in the wood. The underside of the seat is probably in the worst condition. The plywood's quite badly split and lifted. Uh, there's a small amount missing. So I'm just going to use a bit of glue to glue down what I can. Uh, first I'm just going to put a little bit of boiling water onto the wood just to try and soften it up a little bit. And then I'm going to apply the glue and let that dry overnight. I know there are some other tools out there that would help me do this probably much more easily and effectively but you've got to work with what you've got.
when clamping the repair I use the other seat piece as it's got the same curvature hopefully that will help with the repair and I'm going to call that a day and grab myself a beer let that dry and get back into it tomorrow Sadly the sun wasn't shining quite so brightly today so I am indoors. I am currently in between workshops but I'll talk more about that in a video later on. For now my parents fortunately have this rather large tin shed which I'm going to use for my workshop today. As you can see this repair hasn't come up too badly. Pretty sure I can work with that. As I mentioned earlier, I really wanted to create a forged steel look with these hinges. So now that I'm in this workshop, I've actually got access to a few more tools that I wouldn't have otherwise. So I get to it with a disc and really scrape it back. And that is exactly the look I was going for. I'm really happy with that. Nice industrial style. Now before I stain the seats I need to deal with these patches that I filled in. I need to cover them up a little bit because when I put on the stain if I leave them as they are they'll kind of stand out like sore thumbs. So applying a little bit of dark paint knowing that the dark varnish should help blend in those patches I'm hoping this is the answer. Because these hinges are made of steel, they are prone to rust. So I use this matte clear rust-oleum spray to help seal them. And once the stain is dry, I lather it up in this liquid beeswax. This brand is Gillies, it's my absolute favourite, I just think it's the shizzle. I don't know if it's available in America, but I know you can get it from Bunnings in New Zealand and Australia. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, 
there's no endorsement or anything I just absolutely love the product and I know that you will not be disappointed if you spend your money on it look at that glow up as I mentioned near the start of the video these little rivets I knew well they potentially were going to cause me a headache I found it really hard to find the exact same size I managed to find these slightly longer ones the guy in the shop did say they're not very common anymore they don't get used too much so I'm gonna to have to grind them down just a little to get them to the right size and then bang them in I had to get my old man to help me wrangle this chair back together, it ended up being a two man job, it was quite a puzzle. Anyhow we got there in the end. Now I'll chime in here to thank you very much for watching this video. It's truly appreciated and it keeps me in the YouTube game. If you enjoyed this video enough, please feel free to hit the like button. And if you've got some words for me, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you think you need more of these kind of videos in your life, subscribing to this channel will absolutely help with that. And it also helps me on my YouTube journey, and that's a win-win. Now let's get some sunshine back onto the screen and get the reveal underway. Until next time, take it easy.